Hey YouTube, Shikun Shubby here with a review of the Power Ranger Samurai trading cards and figure set things. So, these are available in like those little um, impulse buy packs that you see in the, uh, the trading card section. They're in a little cardboard box. Uh, thanks to Karyu Hirok and my friend Jeff for uh, sending me the picture to know where the hell they are. And anyway, uh, so these are available for $3.99 a piece. Uh, in each pack, you get one of these little figures. They don't move or anything. And three cards. So there's a total of six figures and 18 cards. Uh, there's no randomity in it. Uh, you buy the red figure, it comes with the same three cards every time. So there's no random booster packs or anything like that. There's just a collection of six figures and 18 cards. So buy all six, you get all 18 cards, and you're done. Really cool. I like that. Uh, these are the package. The figures down here, the cards are up here. The team there. Uh, the little red figure here. Um, with 18, there's two backs of these cards. So I'll be inserting them into a page to show you the full pictures. But here they are right here. Ta-da. Combine nine, forms to, nine cards to form a gank card. I mean giant card. And each pack includes one figure and three trading cards. So pretty cool. Set that back here. We'll take a look at the figures. Um, red is right here. He is pretty much in his kind of typical red pose. He's right here. The problem with these is the fact that these don't stand. Their heads are too giant and their feet are too small. So they just fall right over. Um, I want to say that these were a part of one of Bandai's Gashapon lines. I don't know for sure. They might be all new for America. The only reason I question it is because it has that typical Bandai of Japan, uh, four star dot thing that uh, figure arts do right back there it does have the Power Rangers uh, uh, copyright information though so it makes me question whether they were from Japan at all in the first place but regardless for little tiny things they are quite detailed with the logo and the colors uh, everything is kind of painted for the most part so it looks really nice problem being is that they just don't include stands so they can't stand at all um, what I'm going to do, I haven't yet because I don't have any with me in the house, um, is you can get that sticky poster tack, um, preferably probably white, and just make a little oval of that and then just push them in there, and they will stand just fine inside the poster tack. So if you want to do that, I would recommend doing that. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to make little stands for these guys. Uh, I know he came with the first three cards. So that was Red Ranger with Spin Sword. It says the Red Ranger is the leader of the Samurai Power Rangers, so I'm going to just fire in his or as a lion. Yay. Um, Jaden with his zombie face. Jaden was raised by Mentor G to lead the Samurai Power Rangers. He is a leader of few words, but when he speaks, he means what he says. And the Beetle Zord. A secret Zord passed through generations of Samurai. The Beetle Zord is armed with powerful cannons and pinchers that can put the pinch on any mega monster. Uh, some of you may recognize this artwork because the artwork is a mix of scenes from the show, as uh, with Jaden here. Or that looks like a scene from, like, the studio. But uh, And Daiso. So this is from the uh, Kabuto Origami Daiso card. This is from one of the Shinken Red Daiso cards, I think. That might just be, like, a CGI. Yeah, that's CGI. Regardless, I think it was on a Daiso card. But yeah, these are all reused Daiso card artwork. So... Yeah. Uh, here's blue. Pretty much cocky as normal. But again, very detailed and very nice. I like them. Again, the only one that had a fairly decent chance of standing still can't stand. He came with uh, Blue Ranger and Hydro Bow. The Blue Ranger is easily... The Blue Ranger easily clears enemies out of his way with his Dragon Splash. His element is a water and his sword is a dragon. So here's Blue. Kevin. Kevin is extremely disciplined and a great swordsman. By becoming a Power Ranger, he is putting his dream of swimming in the Olympics on hold. And the Red Ranger with Fire Smasher. Combining his Spin Sword with the Lion Disc creates a Fire Smasher. It's an explosive power. Its explosive power lights up any battle. I really like seeing the Daiso artwork here, even if it's not on actual Daiso cards. Green, he looks like he's trying to do a dance. He might actually be Gokai Green, I don't know. But he's, 
He's chomp chomp bara chomp bara. Nice try there, Mike. Nice try. So we got a uh, Green Ranger with Forest Spear. Uh, the Green Ranger sends Nylax flying with his fierce forest vortex. His element is a forest, and his zord is a bear. Mike. Mike. is a free spirit, has a goofy sense of humor, and has a hard time fully embracing the formalities and rules of a samurai tradition. And the Red Ranger with Spin Sword. See a pattern here? For years, the Red Ranger kept uh, Moogers at bay by himself until the other Samurai Rangers were called upon to help in the fight against evil. Here's Emily. She's jumping. Or sitting. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I think she's jumping. But... Right. No way in hell she's standing. So, Yellow Ranger... The Yellow Ranger combines the ape disc with her spin sword to take down Nylax with her earth slicer. Her element is earth and her sword is an ape. Emily's older sister was destined to be the Yellow Ranger, but this prevented this was prevented by illness. Emily had no choice but to take her place. And a uh, Red Ranger, oh my god. Red Ranger with fire smashers. This is the Daiso card that featured Shink and Red with the two Rekadazantos from the finale, I believe. So, spoilers. The Red Ranger can combine the Beetle, Tiger, or Swordfish disc with the Fire Smasher upgrade to the devastatingly powerful 5-disc cannon. Even though this isn't the 5-disc cannon, this is just two Rekadazantos, but whatever. And pink. Good old Mia. She's either dancing or jumping or flying, I don't know. tiny things. Alright, we got Pink Ranger with Sky Fan. When evil attacks, the Pink Ranger blows them away with her Sky Fan by combining the Turtle Disc with her Spin Sword. Her element is the Sky and her Zord is a Turtle. Mia. Mia's the big sister of the group because Mako was. She thinks of herself as a cook and the other Rangers try their best to act as if her culinary concoctions rather are actually edible. Because Mako couldn't cook either. Red Ranger with Spin Sword. Oh my god, it's a pattern. There's Moogers in the background. Uh, the Red Ranger must master the sealing symbol to seal Master Xandrid in another world for good. And then the last set is the Samurai Megazord. So there's no gold power with Antonio, but there is a Samurai Megazord. He is very tiny, and uh, the ape lost a lot of its color. But outside of that, it looks pretty interesting. All cute and chibi. He can stand. At least one out of the six can. Samurai Megazord. A combination of the lion, dragon, bear, turtle, and ape zords. The Samurai Megazord is activated when the rangers need to defeat a mega monster, Nylock. Samurai Rangers United. A new generation of rangers must protect the world from Master Xandrid and his army of Nylock monsters. Rangers together, Samurai forever. Then lastly, the Beetle Blaster Megazord. When the Beetle Blaster Megazord is armed for battle, it can take down Mega Monster Nylax for good with its rotating Beetle Blaster. Yay. So those are all of the cards. So let me put them in a nine page thing and uh, show you the combined card thing. Alright, so here they are in uh, nine sleeve pages. Um, to get the proper picture on the back, uh, you need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have to do it in reverse order. So here's another look at the cards. And then here is the picture on the back. Pretty cool. It's pretty much just a picture with a Photoshop filter on it, but still cool. And then here is the other sets. And then there combined picture with the Samurai Megazord. Again, pretty cool. I like it when cards do this uh, this little picture on the back because it kind of makes using nine page sleeves worth it. So really cool. Uh, disappointed that the number order has to go all retarded, but uh, it's just Japanese reading style, I suppose. So anyway, um, this mm, they're four ninety nine a piece, so the entire set costs you about twenty six bucks. Um, 
with tax and everything like that. So, in that aspect, it's hard to recommend it, but booster packs for things cost about $4 a piece regardless of what it is now. So, it's not too bad considering instead of getting a pack of 6 to 10 cards, you're getting 3 cards and a cool little figure. So, using that logic, I guess the price isn't too bad, but it just seems like a lot of money for kind of what you're getting. Um, however... They are pretty nice little figures. They are pretty detailed. Yeah, they don't move, but they are pretty adorable because I like chibi things. Uh, the fact that they don't come with stands is heavily disappointing to me. I don't know why Bandai of America didn't include those. Yeah, I know they're cheap, but still, they shouldn't be this cheap. Um, so, once you can kind of get some little tacky stands going and set these guys up, I'm sure they look a lot cooler than they actually do right now laying on the floor. But uh, the cards are cool. Seeing some Daiso artwork in America mixed in with the actors and stuff is really nice. I do hope we get a Series 2 with Antonio and some Nylox and Decker and um, Clawzord and stuff like that. Mostly because I want more cards. But uh, anyway, I can recommend them if you like cards and you do like the look of the little figures. It just seems like a lot of money for what you're getting in the long run. So you can check out ShukunShinobi.com for all the latest updates on my reviews. And be sure to check out RidersRunsAndRumbles.com for all the latest token news and the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.